serum glucose is regulated by a complex interaction of insulin and glucagon. Insulin is secreted by the beta cells of the islets of Langerhans in the pancreas in response to elevated levels of blood glucose. This pancreatic hormone facilitates the movement of glucose across the cell membranes to be used for metabolic activity. The alpha cells of the islets of Langerhans secrete glucagon when blood glucose levels are low. Glucagon facilitates the conversion of stored glycogen to glucose. When cells are unable to use blood glucose as a metabolic fuel, glucagon stimulates the breakdown of fatty acids and protein. Elevated blood glucose levels may occur in a variety of clinical situations. Diabetes mellitus is the most common disorder associated with elevated blood glucose levels. Prolonged physiological stress contributes to hyperglycemia through increased levels of cortisol as part of the neuroendocrine stress response. Intravenous infusions containing dextrose may cause elevated blood glucose. Many drugs have hyperglycemia as a side effect. Hypoglycemia occurs most often as the result of excess insulin administration in the person with diabetes mellitus. In the person without diabetes, hypoglycemia may occur with excess alcohol consumption, prolonged fasting and starvation states, adrenal insufficiency, and eating disorders such as anorexia nervosa. Hypoglycemia after meals may be related to gastric bypass surgery or excess consumption of refined carbohydrates and is the result of increased insulin secretion. At risk for variation of blood glucose levels from the normal range that may compromise health. Common risk factors may include insulin deficiency or insulin excess, excessive glucose intake in relation to metabolic needs, medication side effects, imbalance of activity and food intake. Expected outcome of unstable blood glucose level are patient maintains blood glucose levels within defined target ranges. Client will maintain glycated hemoglobin less than 7%. The normal level is 4% to 6%. Client will maintain outpatient preprandial blood glucose in adults between 70 and 130 mg per deciliter. Client will maintain preprandial blood glucose for preschoolers between 100 and 180 mg per deciliter, school age between 90 and 180 mg per deciliter, adolescents and young adults between 90 and 130 mg per deciliter. Client will maintain outpatient peak postprandial glucose below 180 mg per deciliter. Client will maintain preprandial blood glucose for gestational diabetes less than or equal to 95 mg per deciliter, one hour postprandial level, at or below 140 mg per deciliter, and two hour postprandial level at or below 120 mg per deciliter. Client will maintain pre-meal, bedtime, and overnight blood glucose for a pregnant mother with pre-existing type 1 or 2 diabetes at 60 to 99 mg per deciliter, peak postprandial glucose at 100 to 129 mg per deciliter, and glycated hemoglobin less than 6%. Client will maintain blood glucose in critically ill hospitalized clients between 140 and 180 mg per deciliter. Client will maintain pre-meal blood glucose values in non-critically ill hospitalized clients below 140 mg per deciliter and random blood glucose values below 180 mg per deciliter. Client will demonstrate how to accurately test blood glucose. Client will identify self-care actions to take to maintain target glucose levels. Client will identify self-care actions to take if blood glucose level is too low or too high. Client will demonstrate correct administration of prescribed medications. Client will demonstrate knowledge of appropriate diet and carbohydrate intake. 